So, here we're going to use synthetic division. Now, to do synthetic division, it's easier because you can write less. And, um, oh, I guess the only stipulation is you can only do synthetic division when it says x plus a number as your binomial. And so this is how you set it up. Put a little box right here, and then uh, we're going to have a line right here and a dotted line right here. <coughs> yeah. Oh, here, here let's, let's start out like this then. Uh, first thing you do is write down all of the coefficients of what you're trying to divide. Now, are, are there missing terms in there? Yeah, there's a missing x to the third. Uh, it should go right here. So we write down all the coefficients. We have 1, 0, negative 10, negative 2, and 4. We got that from here. We have a 1 right there. There's a 0, and then a negative 10, negative 2, and then a 4. Put the box back right here, and right there we put what the solution would be if that was a factor. What would the solution be if that was a factor? Negative 3. Negative 3. And then um, you put a dotted line right here for this last term because we need to know when's the end. And we put our line. Check this out. You're going to love this. Bring down the 1. They have a 1 there. The next thing you do is you multiply the num number 1 by negative 3 and put it right here. What are you doing? I went 1 times negative 3, and I got that. Now I'm adding the 0 and the negative 3. I get negative 3. What's negative 3 times negative 3? Positive 9. And then I add these two. What do I get when I add those? What's negative 1 times negative 3? So I put a 3 right there. And I add those together. You get a 1. Oh, wait, there's a one more number there. Wow, I messed that up. This dotted line should go right here. Sorry, I didn't see that on my screen. <laughs> What is 1 times negative 3? Negative 3. So your 1 is your remainder, and all these numbers give you your answer. Now, I like to do it backwards. I say uh, this is our constant, and then I say plus because it's positive. This is your x term. It always increases with the x's. Uh, what do you think this one is? Yeah, that one's your x squared term. And the last one is your x to the third. So this is your answer, but because we have a remainder, you also have to go plus 1 over x plus 3, because that's what you're dividing.